Well, Trevor, it's a new day, a new adventure, and we are at the stunningly beautiful Mount Aspiring World Heritage Listed National Park, no less. And it is stunningly it is. beautiful. If you love the great outdoors, you're going to fall head over heels with this place. And we're taking it to a whole new level this time. Oh, yeah. Quite literally, in this. This is just magnificent. The flight takes you through valleys, over thick bushland and past cascading waterfalls and finally up into the tops of the ranges themselves. Breathtaking. The night before we came up here, there was a late snowfall and the result, just mesmerising. I think in less than an hour, you'll actually see more of the Mount Aspiring National Park than you could traverse in a whole lifetime. We're also flying over some of the best walking trails in New Zealand. Time to get our feet on the ground. This is more of a stroll than a hard trek, but it still guarantees to take your breath away. There is a lot of water up here, so just make sure you're prepared. The wilderness we've been looking down at is equally as beautiful at eye level, perhaps even more magical if that's possible. And there is the chance to stop and take in all the minute details of this alpine experience. This epic adventure has one last section. Time to hold on tight. Because while the trek to the river took us three hours, the trip out will take considerably less. If you're looking for an adrenaline rush, this is it. Just remember to open your eyes occasionally and most importantly, don't let go. Well, that was a South Island experience and a half. We have choppered, we have hiked, and we have jet-boated. And I am buggered.